People's Station. A beautiful morning to all of you who are watching this program via Lifeline today. I am so excited to bring you another portion of this uh, program that we carry out weekly at this time uh, on Monday evenings. I am Pastor Barry, your television pastor from the north. That we are already at midway in this year. And you know, we've been going from battle after battle uh, in the Bahamas, from hurricanes uh, to pandemic. And you know, things have changed drastically uh, in, in the world. Uh, also, of course, the Bahamas being affected. And I know sometimes we are challenged as in what to do, where to go. I know some people are ready to give up on life. You've had so much downturns. You've had so many setbacks. Some of us have lost jobs. Some of us, uh, you know, went from a double income to now we're at one income, some none, no incomes at all. Uh, you know, children are stressed, parents are more stressed, and sometimes you don't know what other direction, you don't know what direction to take. I encourage you from the word of the Lord that says, God is our refuge and strength, and he is a very present help in the time of trouble. And so, I, how do you may say, well, how do I know? I'm proving it. I've proven it. There were many times in my life that I was, my back was against the wall. I can tell you about extreme poverty. I can tell you about the times where the power was off and we had, we had no food in the house. I can tell you about that. I can tell you uh, about the times when there was only a jug of water and we couldn't put it in the refrigerator because the power was off. But there was one bottle of water on the counter and that's all we have. I can tell you about the times when, uh, when, you, when it was after you ate the meal, that was it. You don't know where the next meal was coming from. I can tell you about it. I experienced it. But through it all, you know what I've proven? That God is our refuge and strength. And he's a very present help in the time of trouble. And today, uh, there may be somebody watching this program. You are in trouble. You are in trouble. Your back is against the wall. You don't know which way to turn. You've tried everything. You've already and everyone is turning you down. People who you thought, uh, you know, would, that would help you. People that you've helped. People that you've bailed out. Uh, you, you're now turning to them and asking them. They're standing on good ground now. They're doing well. And you're asking them to help you. And they've turned their backs on you. You feel forsaken. You feel you know, you may be in a marriage that's gone bad and the person that you love has betrayed you. You may, your children may have forsaken you and turned their backs on you. Your best friend or friends uh, may, be, may have betrayed you and you feel like there's nothing else in this world to live for. Hey, let me tell you something. You have plenty to live for because God is waiting on you to turn to him because he has already exposed himself as refuge. He's already exposed himself as strength. He's already exposed himself as a very present help in the time of trouble. And I know when people get to that point where you feel that life has turned you a, 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 a negative turn or you, you, you've been impacted negatively. But I want to tell you something. Life is worth living. And it doesn't make sense you taking your life. So if you are thinking about taking your life today, I will let you know something. Don't do it. Because you can turn to God and God can turn your life around. The Bible says about him, he's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we're able to ask or think. So because your back is against the wall, that's okay. God is your refuge and strength. He's your very present help in the time of trouble. So you put your trust in him, and I can guarantee you, according to his word, he will bring you out. God is your refuge, strength, and very present help in the time of trouble. God bless you.
You're watching the ZNS Network, the people's station.